Hi folks, thanks for tuning in. I'm Tim Martino, service manager for pavementgroup.com. And today I'm very excited to showcase our newest model of our Stratos asphalt distributors. This particular unit features many new upgrades. Uh, we've upgraded our hose system to a three quarter inch hose. We've got a new duo flow recirculating spray bar. This allows us to pump material from both directions and give us a better flow rate. Uh, we've got a compressor on this unit, which actuates a valve so that by the press of a button, we can actuate the spray bar and actually control the spray when we want it on and off. We've also got on this unit a radar and computer system to monitor ground speed and the pumping rate application so that you know exactly how much material you're laying down at the speed that you're driving along. We've got a rider platform here and this computer monitor will actually detach from this pedestal and it'll go all the way up to the front of the truck so the operator, the driver, can monitor the system and how much the flow rate and lay down is putting out. Uh, new features on this unit as well is an upgraded pumping system. This is a Viking K124A. It's a 60 gallon per minute pump. This particular unit is fully loaded. So we've got um, a Vanguard 14 horsepower engine. This features a 20 amp charging system so that it ensures while it's running, your battery is fully charged. Uh, the other option to that is to plug the trailer plug into your truck with a 12 volt auxiliary supply coming from your truck to keep the battery maintained as well, which is why there's three positions here. So we can charge from the vehicle or we can charge from the engine. The 20 amps that the engine charges at is more than enough to keep this machine fully charged while the burner's operating. As you can see, we've got a nice slide out feature here. So this light comes on and when this slides out, the driver can see in the rearview mirror that we're spraying. This light comes on, it's very visible. Our diesel fuel tank system runs down here into our fuel filter and all the way back to the burner on the rear end. We've got a new ergonomic handle and this makes it easier for the operator to hold the bar and lay the material down. And this valve opens and controls the material rate. And back here you'll see our huge three-quarter inch hose reel system. Our burner operations, which we now feature a Genesis controller is like the brain of the unit on the burner. So if the fuel runs low, this thing will shut down and ensure that you don't blow out the fuel pump from running it without fuel in it. The Puma air compressor, we've added a nice little feature here so you can hook up a quarter inch airline. You can fill up your tires, you can blow off your machine with the airline that you put on there. We can adjust the pressure settings on the compressor as well, up to 100 PSI. Another nice feature here is the pneumatically operated valves. So when we fold these wings down, we'll be able to see how they pin into each other and we can control the zones that are operating at any given time. So we're cut out into four inch, uh, four foot sections here. So we can make the whole spray bar spray at once or we can section it off into four foot sections. So this just folds down here. As you can see, the hoses are coming in from two sides of the spray bar now to get optimal pressure. And these are the air valves that are controlled by the air compressor and the press of a button. So when you press the button, the air valves will come on. Now they won't do the whole system until we pin them in here. So we've got a new pin design here, which makes it very easy to just slide in. And now this makes it so that the whole length of the spray bar will spray at the same time. We're featuring all new LED lighting throughout the whole machine. Uh, very reliable. And obviously we can see our jacks here to bring our spray bar up and down. We can do it on an angle, tilt it. We can go up and down um, and put many different angles on the spray bar to ensure that we get a good even coating on our surface. And as you can see back here is our pneumatic valve. Number seven is the big one. That's the one that allows us to operate with a key fob and just by the press of a button, we can lay our material down. Now we've got a nice valve chart fully labeled here so that any operation that you want to perform, we've got the valves labeled here for what their operation is. And then if you want to do the operation over here, it tells you easily which valves have to be opened and closed. Very user friendly, very easy to learn. Um, now this is the cable here. We got a strobe light for the top to show that we're working. And then this extra section of cable is what allows us to bring this controller off the pedestal and up into the cab of the truck. This particular unit is a thousand gallons. 
it is insulated, which gives it this nice aluminum outer shell. Uh, so underneath this, we've got the insulation and then the steel tank itself. We've got a new ladder design as well, and it's textured paint on there for grip, so it, it helps with safety. And then the manhole cover up top with a dipstick in there to check the material level. And over on the front side of the machine here, you'll see that we've got the digital thermostatic controller. So when we turn our burner and our power on, we will set our parameters on how hot we want our material. This will automatically bring it up to temperature and then shut down the burner when it gets up to the desired temperature. Another operation chart here up front to show you which operation you're going to do and which valves you have to have opened and closed to perform that particular operation, whether we're recovering solvent or we're filling the tank or spraying out of the bar or the wand. A strainer basket system here to ensure that all the material coming out is clean and we're not getting any foreign debris sucked into our pump that ensures the longevity of the pump itself. You'll see that there's an analog thermometer up front as well to ensure that you've got even heating throughout the whole system. And we've got an analog material level gauge up front as well, which is designed with a float valve inside and will tell you how many gallons precisely are in your unit. On this unit, we've got a spare tire. As I said before, it's fully loaded. A battery package with a 12 volt gauge on it tells you how much power you're putting through the, the machine. And optimally, you'd be running at about 13 and a half volts. While this engine is running, you're charging the battery or while it's hooked up to the auxiliary truck supply, you'll be running about 14 volts on a truck. We've got a um, three inch pinnel ring for the towing tongue and we've got a, a hydraulic surge brakes on this unit which is a optional upgrade normally we would have electric brakes uh, they wanted surge brakes on this one so we've got hydraulic lines running through all for the braking system and obviously when you slow down the truck it surges up runs brake fluid to all four wheels and then we get it to slow down as the truck slows down uh, the axles on this unit are 7,500 pounds each, Dexter axles, a uh, very reliable brand. And uh, that's it. We're very excited to get this one out there. This is a fully loaded unit. Uh, we can't wait to keep getting them out in production. We've got a happy customer here. Can't wait to get their unit. We're going to expect delivery tomorrow and deliver it to them personally, you know, just to give that little extra touch. And uh, I thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys have any information or questions that you need answered, feel free to give us a call at 518-218-7676 or visit us at www.pavementgroup.com. Thanks again. Have a great day.